All right, welcome back. We're going to do the x-axis now on the additive wear Prusa I3. Um, for this, we're going to need a NEMA 17 stepper motor with a GT2 timing pulley uh, with the teeth against the motor body. Our assembled extruder with the X carriage already attached. Two 370 millimeter smooth rods. Our X axis plastic parts, the motor mount and the idler. A timing belt. Three LMA UU linear bearings and the 608 ZZ roller bearing. Uh, we're going to start this off by attaching our motor to the motor mount just to go ahead and have it on there so we don't have to mess with it after everything's going in. And you're going to want the shaft of the motor facing the flat end of the motor mount. That way the timing belt teeth line up perfectly with the hole that goes through the center. So let me take a second here and tighten that in. securely on the XN motor mount. Now we're going to go ahead and slide our, our smooth rods in the shafts, which are provided. Now on the motor mount it's a closed end so you can get it all the way in there before you uh, do the other side. These are going to push all the way through and just kind of sit flush on the end. trouble. Yeah, let's try flipping it around. Sometimes that works. Yep, there we go. And it's on there. Now we're going to go ahead and slide the other one through the back end just to make sure it slides comfortably all the way through. And oops, I almost forgot. Your linear bearings have to go on there before you fit them in, so I'm going to have to remove this bottom one and slide the two. Now on the bottom one you want the two linear bearings, on the top one you want just a single one. Uh, you'll notice it'll match up with the uh, carriage we have. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and put our 608ZZ bearing inside of the opposite end that we have the motor on. We're going to do that using our M3. There we are. It should come out through the back. Throw a washer and a nut on that side. And tighten it up a bit. So, here we have the two smooth rods fitted between the uh, X motor mount and the X idler. Our bearing is in, our pulley is on the end of the motor, and our linear bearings are positioned on the axis. Alright, jumping back after a bit of a technical error, but so now that we have the smooth, rod, smooth rods in there with the linear bearings on them, motor attached, the bearing in, we have our assembled extruder with the X carriage and the zip tie is already in. We're going to flip it over so the flat end of both the X ends are facing us. Slide the assembled extruder into the spot that we need it to be. Go ahead and line up the bearings where they're supposed to go. And secure them in there. For this video, I'm just going to use the one zip ties because that'll hold them in place where we need them now. We'll go ahead and put the second ones in in our own spare time. And last, the top single bearing 
and this will secure it so we can put the belt in properly. Alright, so now we have our extruder mounted on the x-axis. It's going to move properly with the bearings. Now all that's left is to put on our belt. Now this one's cut to a meter right now. It uh, doesn't need to be that long, but we just did that to give ourselves some room. Uh, we are going to thread this, basically thread it, teeth facing the pulley, as I'm sure we assumed. It's kind of hard to get it through those holes, all right? Get it in, put it around, and then push it back through the hole. grab it and pull it through and we're gonna now after it's through the first end we're gonna do just like we did on the y-axis and put it through put, it, put the teeth around and then pinch it off and I'll show you up close here in a second so we have the belt right now around the pulley We've guided it back through so that it loops around and we can pinch it off right there and zip tie it just like we did on the Y axis. So I'm going to go ahead and zip tie this belt so we have it in place. And make sure you pull it really tight because you don't want this belt coming off mid print later on. zip ties. They can be a pain, but they are incredibly useful. Alright, there we go. Our belt is now where it should be. So, we have the one side attached right here. We have it going around the, mo around the pulley on this end. We're going to slide it back so it sits just under the top linear bearing, the single one. Do the same thing we did on the other side, push it through, wrap it around the bearing. Pull it all the way, put it back in on the underside of the bearing. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use this opportunity to clip off the uh, excess zip ties so I don't get in the way. We have to make sure the belt is pulled very tightly. So hold the x-axis, or the uh, extruder in place, pull it really tight, and then do what you just did on the opposite side, and pull it around and zip tie it. It'll be a little bit tricky to get in here with the other belt already taking up space, but we prevailed. So, here we are, other side pinched in there. The belt is running just under, right here, just under the single. And we're going to tighten this up, zip tie it off, and then we'll be ready to put the entire carriage on the Z-axis and continue with the frame assembly. Thank you very much.